call from? Adam. Adam, how you doing? I'm, I'm doing good. What can I do uh, for you? I'm 15 in high school. God, you sound like you're I, 32, bro. You got a deep ass voice. So I know this girl. I have um, I met her eight months ago, I think. That's mm -hmm. probably shorter than that. So I, I really I really like this girl. I, I asked her to the dance. We went to the dance. Like completely like formally asked her out at the dance, but she's not allowed to date. <laughs> Okay. So now I'm in this weird spot where I don't know if she likes me back because she's not allowed to date. Right. She hasn't, like, like uh, since the dance, it's been a few months, we've, like, joked about it, like, danced around the subject. But I don't really know what to do because I'm not really sure of anything. So, okay. So here's the thing. One, you're young. You're 15, right? Yeah. You're a young buck. That's okay. But when it comes to this situation, if she's not allowed to date, she's not allowed to date. And you're, you're going to be hung up on this for a little bit, but there's I always say there's two things you can't beat. You can't beat religion and you can't beat the parents. So if the parents are religious and they say that, you're not going to beat God. Like they're they're going to stop a dating thing. And if the parents just don't want them dating, you're not going to beat the parents. Even if you sneak around, it's going to end in Romeo and Juliet tragedy. So in the meantime, you could be friends with this person, but don't get too hung up on it. Because let's say she's lying to you and she can actually date. She's, all, she's giving you a no either way. I'm not saying that's the case, but that's one way to look at it as well. Like even if no matter what, you can't date her. And I know as 15, she's the only girl in the world to you right now. And that's devastating. But, you know, have you heard the, the fraction theory about life? No, I haven't. I don't think so. It's really good to learn at a young age. Because I'm sure even at 15, you realize time's moving a little bit faster than it did when you were younger, right? Yeah. So every year of your life, like when you're five years old, that one year is a fifth of your life that's a big part of your life but now you're 15 and it's one fifth of your life is one year so it seems like it's moving a little quicker and when you're 24 and 40 and 80 a year it's just they fly by because it's just one eighth of one eightieth of your life think of it going into that that things are always going to move faster in the future just wait a year keep your eyes out for other girls but just wait a year see how things go because she's going to turn 16 maybe her parents will open up then but it's yeah. living in the present is great but having a plan in the future is fantastic don't get hung up on this one girl Honestly, it's just yeah, going to give you a heartbreak. You. All right? Okay. All right. All right. Have a good one, my son. Thank you. You too. That changed my life when I heard that theory. I was 15. No, 16. My friend's mom was like, yeah, it's only a 16th of your life.